question is, why? Why was there so much meltwater released into the world ocean that it could actually stop the Gulf Stream dead in its tracks? And that's a question that the mainstream has never satisfactorily addressed, in my view. Um, but what is clear uh, is that at the beginning of the Younger Dryas, at the very moment when the world is suddenly getting cold, something really weird happens. Sea levels rise suddenly. There's a dramatic pulse of sea level rise. It's not an enormous rise. It's two to four meters within a few decades or less of why the onset. Why is this puzzling? Because we are entering a period of deep freeze. In a period of deep freeze, you'd expect, expect the ice mass to grow and sea levels to fall. You wouldn't expect the ice mass to carve off huge amounts of water, dump it into the world ocean and cause sea levels to rise. But that's what happened. What triggered those meltwater discharges? And I think the answer is very clear. Those meltwater discharges were triggered by fragments of that disintegrating comet hitting the North American ice cap.